Well, what's up, Marvel fans? We're here with Kevin Feige. This is a huge undertaking of a film. Where did you start? Uh, we started at the ending of Far From Home, where we knew that we had uh, put Peter Parker in a very hard uh, circumstance where his identity was revealed. And from there, we decide what happens next and how do we make things harder for him. He's been to space. He's become Spider-Man. He's lost his mentor. And now his identity is revealed. And all he wants to do is graduate high school and go to college. And we started there. And the good old Parker luck kicked in. You brought supervillains in from previous Spider-Man movies into this. What was that process like? Uh, it was very emotional. It always starts with a place of what do we think would be fun? What do we think would be cool? I've been making movies for 20 years now at Marvel. And they started at this very theater, as a matter of fact, with the premiere of Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 1. And we were sitting around a room and saying, if I saw Willem Dafoe, who you just talked to, as Green Goblin again, and Alfred Molina, who's not able to be here tonight as Doc Ock, I would lose my mind. <laughs> just that just that starting point. Um, and, uh, and a lot of luck came together that, that they were interested. We were able to bring him back. Oh, that's incredible. I can't wait to see this incredible film. What are you most proud of throughout this Spider-Man films? Well, I'm proud of the collaboration we've had with, with John Watts on three movies, with Tom Holland on three of his own movies, plus the Avengers movies. The entire relationship between Sony and Marvel and Disney is really unprecedented in Hollywood history, and it's all because everybody loves Spider-Man. Yeah. And, and that is amazing. I hope it shows in all the movies as well. We well, said everyone loves Spider-Man. What makes him so lovable and relatable? Uh, I think that was the genius of what Steve Ditko and Stan Lee did all those years ago, was they made him us. They made him flawed and related. And again, here he is in this giant anticipated movie that may or may not have consequences for the multiverse, but Peter Parker just wants to go to college. Peter Parker just wants to graduate high school. That's it. Uh, and and you, you, you want to root for that person. Kevin, thank you so much. Enjoy the movie. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you.